Hey everyone, in this video, I want to quickly showcase just how fast On One Photo Raw 2023 is at completing some of the most difficult tasks photographers face when they're editing. Blending in textures using previous versions of Photo Raw could take a bit of time, especially if you were dealing with complex subjects. Now in Photo Raw 2023, you can easily blend in a texture behind a subject or object just by clicking and creating. Let's quickly blend in a texture using Photo Raw's new AI masking tools. So inside of Photo Raw here, I have this owl image and I want to quickly blend in a texture behind the owl. Now for this process, the explanation is going to take up a bit more time than actually completing the process. So just keep in mind that this video is a little bit longer, but actually blending in this texture doesn't take up much time at all and will definitely take less than, than two minutes on your own photos. So with my owl photograph here, I'm going to head over to the left side of my screen and I'm going to grab my super select AI tool. With this tool selected, I can hover over different regions within my photo and I can apply adjustments and filters directly to them. So I'm just going to hover over this background here behind the owl. I'll select it there. I'll right click and let's add in a texture. I'll just use the textures filter. So inside of my textures filter here, it's created a mask around the owl and it's applied that texture there. Let's go into our category menu. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and I'll choose one of my imported categories. Remember, you can always import your own custom textures into the scene. And I'll use this texture menu and I'll choose an interesting texture. So with that texture chosen, I'm going to use this mode menu here and I'm going to choose normal. That's going to incorporate a little bit more of that texture onto the photo. And then I like to pull up on the opacity slider just to bring all of that texture onto the photo with this particular blend mode. So if I turn this off and on here, it's looking really great. And we've removed it from the owl there, but there's a couple areas that I want to sort of blend it in with the scene. I want to remove a little bit of it from this branch here. And I also want to blend in a little bit of that texture onto the edges of the owl. So let's first just blend some of those textures into the edge of our owl. I'm going to make sure that my masking brush is selected. I can also grab it by hitting B on my keyboard. And we're going to make sure our mode is set to paint in. With our mode set to paint in, I'm going to lower my opacity down to around 40 or so. Then I'm going to increase my feathering all the way to 100 to ensure I have a nice soft brush edge. And then I can just brush in this texture into the edges of the owl here. And if you brushed a little too much on the edge, no worries. Use Shift and X on your keyboard to switch your mode from paint in to paint out. And then you can just immediately paint that out from those areas that you may have a little, may have went a little bit overboard on. But I think that looks pretty good. It's sort of personal preference on how much you want to blend into the scene and how much you want to keep protected. So I think that looks good. Now let's go into this branch area. I'm going to switch my mode. So now let's head down into this branch section here. I'll increase my opacity there to 100. I'll leave my brush size relatively small here, about half the size of the branch. And then I'm just going to brush some of this texture away from my branch there. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to reveal some of these other textures that are in the branch into the scene as well. So what we're going to do now is just let's head over to our textures mask here. If we view the mask, we can see all of the areas that we've modified. Now what I want to do is just use this density slider to bring back a little bit of that texture into those areas. So if we view our photo now, you can see if I pull back on this, it's incorporating those textures into those areas that we were protecting before. And this is a great way to just incorporate some of those textures back into the scene and blend things up a bit. So that looks pretty good just like that. Now I'm going to hit K on my keyboard again to grab the super select AI tool. Let's grab the owl again there. I'll right click. Let's bring in a sunshine filter and let's use this strong preset. So with this strong preset applied here, if I turn this off and on, it's incorporating a lot of life into that bird there and some nice light so that we can really see it through the texture. Let me just modify the opacity here and it looks great. Let's add one last filter. Let's add the borders filter here. And inside of my borders, I'm gonna use my category menu again to scroll down to my imported borders. 
Now I like the vintage border on the scene here, but I don't like the tint that it's applying and I want to remove some of the border texture from the owl. So let's go into the gear icon first here for the borders filter. I'm going to go into my blending modes and let's choose luminosity. Luminosity is going to eliminate any of that color tint that is applied with this border. So this is normal and this is with luminosity applied. Now let's go into the masking options for the borders filter. Let's use this mask AI menu. Let's choose our animal here. Let's apply this and that will paint away the border from our owl. Again, let's just modify the density slider there, bring a little bit of that back in there to blend. And it's looking great. Let's just hit the backslash key on our keyboard to view the original. And I'm really loving the texture and the vintage border on the photo. You can of course always modify any of these filters and their opacities to taste in case anything is a little bit too strong.